Art Bar will be doing workshop and demo for Karen Dash and we'll be using Super Color Soft and Neo Color 1 and 2. I'll be teaching you some of the techniques and I hope you enjoy it. The first thing that we'll be doing is we try to activate the medium. You just need to firmly push the pigment into the paper like this. Now we need to wet the space above. Make sure it's wet but not dripping wet. Then after we need to activate the part where we put the pigment. Right after you make wells like this. So you can see that the product is highly pigmented. It reacts similar, very similar to your traditional watercolor. Like that. Next would be using Neo Color 2. So you can just make lines of colors, bands of colors together. What's good with this? Plus, when you wet it using a spritzer, it slowly dissolves the pigment. Then you can use your hands, you get your hands dirty. You can just blend everything together like that. You can create different kinds of textures. And you can also use this similar to a stamping tool. First, you need to put paper uh, color, then take a complement color, and then you activate the pigment. I'm still using Neo Color 2. So everything blends together using your brush, and then you can do this. It's an easy way of painting. It's like carrying a paint box, and then you just need water, any kind of water, and a brush. And then you can just make different kinds of artwork with it. Or you can do different kinds of stenciling. So you can just rip up of rip rip up paper like this. Then apply the color. Put different kinds of colors there. I'm using warm color. Then aided with your finger, you just need to moisten your finger. You can create different texture, a stenciled effect. You can either use a brush or use your finger to activate the color and then you can actually blend all the colors together using your finger or with a brush and then you can add different textures afterwards like here you can add branches you can either use it wet or dry you can layer it over and over again as long as it, you wait for it to dry down or you can use your pencil, you just dip your pencil in water and it turns into a brush-like tool. You can do this with Karen Dash because the wood that's used is high quality wood. And example here, you can still activate or reactivate. You get color from the other side and then you put it here. You can still mix it. So these are the basic techniques and you can actually do different things by combining all these techniques and make more interesting artworks.